All right, we cleaned out the van. We got some patio furniture to pick up. I ended up cleaning the pond filter. It had air in it, so now it's running good. We are going to have to move those yellow flags probably. They're just getting too much. You can't even see it keeps a... Uh, so it's getting, and it's going to overgrow and take over that whole big little pond right there. So we got to thin that out and move it. And in the meantime, Rich put a hospice over here, but all these uh, grass is coming up. So I'm pulling some weeds as usual, doing my thing. 96 out here, you know. I know. Got the rest of those weeds pulled out by the pond here. And Mara and Tracy brought... Tra uh, Mara and Tracy. <laughs> Mara and Rich. Come on, look like Tracy. <laughs> brought uh, Tracy out and enjoy some of this fine breeze today. Even if I didn't, if, even if I lost 200 pounds, yeah, I still, still wouldn't, wouldn't. Like Tracy. No, <laughs> no, not even close. <laughs> Now, how cool would that have been? Rich showed me some pictures of a baby fawn that was sleeping right here, man. I'm sure he'll put it in his video. If he doesn't, I'll get him from him and I'll show you guys. But, yeah, it was cool. So let's go down there and see if any of the lilies he popped in there uh, started to pop yet. Alright. That, that big one right there, that is not doing anything as of yet. This one has one small you know, uh, Lily pad on it. Uh, those are not ours, those are the originals. Here's the third one, and don't see nothing on that one growing yet, neither. Boy, there's Ron and Barb's big uh, butterfly. Look at them babies, aren't they beautiful? Yeah, gotta put them in there. The rest of them are doing all right, though. And this primrose, like I warned them, it's already way over here. That's the stuff that's overtaking the bog. And I told them it would, and it really is. We'll go there in a second. But it's all the way over here. And if it starts taking, I'm going to have to Josh agrees with me. But we just got to get Big Rich on board or something, or I'll vote them or something. But we got to get rid of some of that. It's just going gonna, gonna to be in the pond. It's already starting to go into the pond over in the corner. And it's just going to be too much. And because of them geese, yeah, lovely. Just walking all over this, I love it, yeah. Uh, these lilies are popping just nicely in this corner here. And boy, the koi just followed me. Look at all of those babies in a circle right there. That's one of the ones we brought back, I believe. And there's the big one. Aren't they beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous, huh? Wow. All right, this is called floating primrose. You can see one yellow flower right there. But I just put a little bit of this in here last year. And look at it. It took over the entire bog filter already. The whole thing is covered in it. We're going to need to do something about that. It will overrun and get into the pool. It is. There it is. See? It's overrunning and it's going into the pool. So we're going to have to do something about that. I'm going to have to have a talk with them. But look at it. It's, it's overrunning everything. It's coming over the banks. Uh, it'll cover this elephant ear. It's going to keep going. It's going to cover everything. We're going to have to trim this stuff back. Badly. And somebody earlier left the door open for a little bit. And raccoons got in here and it made a mess. They even had a bag of the food floating in there I had to get out. But yeah, somebody did a no-no, but I ain't saying who. And Rich informed me he had, you don't see the board, I believe it's outside. He has not marked, finally, for where everything's going to go. So, all he's got to do is get it cut out and paint it, and we can start putting this thing together as well. And get that project going. And of course, we'll say hi to the salt water tank. We're right here. What's up, guys? And let's see if Mr. Eel's around. Well, he is somewhere, but we don't always get to see him. We see him more than we get to usually do. But corals are doing all right. I love that one up there. It's the most colorful. But the tang, they're friendly now. They come out. They used to always hide when I came up at first. And that one's doing really cool. And the foot disappeared on us. It keeps moving. We can never find it. <laughs> All right, let's see what Rich is up to. 
All right, we're actually doing it. Big Rich drilled these holes a few minutes ago. I went ahead and just cut this out. Couldn't exactly film it because he's holding it and I'm sawing. And I'm not bringing a tripod out for that, so. He, phone rang, he'll come back, we'll get this cut out. And then probably get to paint it and start getting it put together, I hope. All right, got the quad running. We're gonna get it down here. Hook it up to the trailer, the one that Ken gave us. And we're gonna get the pieces on top and throw them down in the pit. And put the rest away somewhere. All right, we're getting this back up to the right up front. don't hear from me you know who to blame <laughs> if I'm in the hospital or anything I'm not I don't know if I can tell all right we got the that wasn't bad not bad at all and the woods taken care of another project out of the way we still got to get the trailer down there empty before Monday because I got to take it with me isn't that great? You just get in and turn the key? Amazing! <laughs> so Rich, he's going to get the patio furniture. Just finished spraying the wood we cut out that's going to be for the electronics for the salt water tank. So we're moving along. And I'm going to give Mara a hand getting Tracy back in the house. And then I'll do some pictures of the fishy before we get out of here. I'll close the garage, no problem. And here's some of the stuffed fish that Jim brought us. But remember that sailfish I showed you in the back? That sucker's huge, man. <laughs> Look at that, it fits on the whole table. It's way bigger than I thought it was. But that is going to look so cool. I'm not sure where we're going to put, put it, but man, it's going to look nice. And thanks, Jim. He brought me the Metallic, the Black Album Remastered. Awesome, limited edition. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. I know it's Brutus. I, I did it again. I know it's Schwarzenegger. But I did say Brutus the other day when that family was here. My bad. But boy, oh boy, more than one of you guys caught that for sure, huh? I can't get away with anything. But yeah, it looks like we had a little bit of a flood again. One of the pumps shut off and overflowed, so. But <clears throat> it's getting cleaned up. And it's really getting time. I got to get going. Big Rich, like I said, he just took off. Finished painting a piece. Just got uh, help Mara get Tracy back into the house. So I'm going to make my way home. Basically, we talked about it. We're going to get the... Because uh, this one cracked. So we're not going to try and lift it out of here. We'll just get some buckets. Get this out of here. We just got to get these two, three tanks out of here. And uh, get ready for uh, Monday. Luke is definitely going with me again. Uh, I don't know if Jacob's coming as well, but it will be us. So we got rid of uh, that trailer and everything here. So the yard's starting to get cleaned up. We're also going to get this uh, 180 that we took out of the back. It's already on rollers. We're going to get that rolled out of here too. 
but I got to get going. Rich is picking up the stuff. And these here, I'm not sure when they came in the other day. These got to get put away as well. So we will do that. It looks like we got a delivery. I'll get that inside for Mara. But uh, we got to do that uh, tomorrow. Uh, I'll come back tomorrow. We'll finish up doing it because Sunday's Father's Day. So I'm sure he's got things going on. Hopefully my kids got something planned for me. And, uh, you know, Monday we take off. So, all right. So I'll get these boxes. We'll go home, make a video, and see you guys on the flip side. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. But, yep, we got a massive rescue coming up. Uh, he didn't mention it, but yep, coming up Monday, we got a big one coming up. So hopefully, uh, haven't heard from Luke yet, but we can get that taken care of and everything ready for Monday. So you guys stay tuned for the continuation of the adventures behind the scene with Reefer.